Happy Friday, first grade friends. Welcome back to your reading mini lesson. Today, we're gonna continue to talk about some of those fiction stories, but we're going to um, still include a little bit of what we've been talking about this week with the problem and the solution. But today we're gonna focus on retelling. And um, we do this a lot naturally with lots of other things. Um, the first thing I think about is a movie. If you see a movie, you you know might run into grandma and grandpa or aunt and uncle and say well what'd you go see oh well you know i saw the new star wars movie I'm just using star wars because my kid loves star wars and you might say oh well you know this happened and and this one and and we start to kind of tell what happened but sometimes when we get really excited or sometimes we just forget to tell some of the important parts without giving all of it away okay so today we're going to talk about that how to retell a story. There's a couple of things you wanna remember. I said a couple, three things you wanna remember um, when you retell a story. And I have a little chart back here to help us remember. And we're gonna practice this with a couple of books that we've already read, okay? So that it's for something familiar to us. So when you tell about a story, you wanna make sure that you tell who was in the story, where it happened, and what exactly happened, okay? So I wanted to look at a couple of books, this one we just read like a couple weeks ago, not long ago, called The Pet Show. And in this story we have, um, well, let me ask you, do you remember who was in the story or what happened in the story? Let me take a little picture walk with you and see if this helps jog your memory a little bit. Here's the title page. And it starts the story here. And remember, it's called The Pet Show. So remember what it was about. It's about that little boy who couldn't find his, what pet was he looking for? Do you remember? Couldn't find his cat, right? Archie was his name. He couldn't find his cat. And so all of his other friends are like, dude, you're taking too long, right? And they're like, we gotta go to the pet show. We're gonna be late. And he said, go ahead, go ahead. I'll be there, go ahead. So they did. And then here comes Archie. What does he have in here? Do you remember what he brought as his pet? Germ, right? He was so clever. He thought, I'm gonna bring a germ as my pet. But the reason he couldn't find, um, or the reason he had to bring the germ was because he couldn't find his cat. But then something interesting happens while he's there. They're giving out all these awards and then all of a sudden, <gasps> who shows up? The cat, right? And this guy, the judge, he thinks that the cat belongs to her. But does the cat really belong to her? No, it doesn't. And Archie's watching like, oh my goodness, right? I can't believe this is happening. So Archie continues with his germ thing, okay? And he gets an award for the quietest pet, remember? The quietest pet was his germ. So then the old lady, she comes up to Archie and she says, you know what, that he's not my cat. You really deserve this award, right? And do you remember what he does? Because this book was in our kindness series. Do you remember what he does? He tells her, he says, you know what, you can just, you can keep that ribbon, right? And it made her day. That was something very nice and very special that he didn't have to do, but he did. Um, so if we were going to retell Mrs. Phillips, about the pet show. She says, oh, I heard you read the pet show on, you know, a couple weeks ago. What was that book about? We wanna make sure we tell her who, where, and what happened, okay? So who is the who in my story? Who are some of the main characters in the story? Archie, right, this guy? Oh no, this guy, my bad, this guy. Archie and his animal, the, the cat, the charm's not really a character, right? He's just pretending. And then who is the other lady in the, in the end of the story? The older guy, the uh, older guy, the older lady, right? The older, they called her, I think, the old woman. So we have, or the woman, I'm sorry, the woman. So we have, I made a list up here for the who. We have Archie, the woman, and the cat, right? Now, what happened in the story? Or I'm sorry, where? Where is the story taking place? At the what? The pet show, right? It's at the pet show. So that's easy. That's at the pet show. And what happened? 
okay? You could say, oh, well, you know, first they found this invitation to the pet show, they saw that everybody was gonna get a prize, and they got, that's all the details. Whoever is wanting to know about your story, like if we were telling Mrs. Phillips, Mrs. Phillips doesn't want to know all the details. She wants to know like in one or two sentences what happened, right? We don't want to tell her the whole story because that's not retelling. That's more of like, you know, a giving a, 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 I like to call it a play by play where you tell them every single piece of story. That's not what we want. We want just the nitty gritty, the basics, right? So what happened in the story? There was a pet show. Archie lost his cat, right? Did the cat show up? The cat did show up and he let the woman keep the award, right? So that's what I put over here. I went ahead and wrote it down just for time purposes, but he lost his cat and he found it at the pet show. And you could even add, he let the lady, but he let the woman keep the ribbon, right? You could add that on there if you would like to, okay? Let's look at another book. This one's one of my favorites. I think it was a favorite of yours too. Knuffle Bunny, do you remember this story? We read this, it's been more than a few weeks, but it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Okay, and I think you remember mostly what happened with Knuffle Bunny. Trixie is the little girl, right? And she lives with mom and dad. Let's take a picture walk. And where does Knuffle Bunny get lost? Oh, that poor Nuffle Bunny. He got lost in laundry, but not just any laundry. They went to the laundromat. So Trixie said goodbye to mom and her and dad were off to the laundromat. And when they were at the laundromat, the pages are sticking together. But when they were at the laundromat, here she is causing a ruckus because that's what toddlers do, right? And that's what little brothers and sisters do. And they, oh no, look, here it is. Who's in the washer? <gasps> Nuffle Bunny. And where are they going? They're leaving. It says then they left. And everything was okay for a little while, but then Trixie realized something. What'd she realize? They left Nuffle Bunny. So they had to go back, and it talks about how they went back and they got Nuffle Bunny. Okay. This is where mom's like, what happened? Where's Knuffle Bunny? And then they go back and get Knuffle Bunny, right? So in this story, who's the who? Who's the who? We have Trixie, who took her to the laundry? Dad. And then who else lived at home? Mom, right? So we would wanna put Trixie, dad, and mom. Where does the story take place? Where? There's a couple of settings, but most of it happened where? At the laundromat, right? The importance part of the problem happened at the laundromat. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. Trixie, mom and dad, the problem is at the laundromat. Now, what happened? How did they fix it? Or what, what was the problem and how they fixed it in the story? Trixie lost Knuffle Bunny, right? She lost the Knuffle Bunny. And then once she realized they lost it, who took her to go get it? Dad, right? Her dad helped her find it by taking her back to the laundromat to go get that Knuffle Bunny. So today I want you to hop onto Epic. I want you to get a fiction story. So fiction is fake. Remember, it's not a true story. So don't read a book about... Um, goldfish today. Don't do that. Okay. Read a fiction story and see if you can name the who, the where, and the what happened. Okay. Remember that what happened is kind of like the problem and the solution together. Okay. So, but you don't want to give too many details. Okay. You just want to get a quick little few sentences of what happened. Okay. So I want you to practice that today. Have fun. All right, and I will see you back here this afternoon for now. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, friends.